Hi there, folks. It's UFO Bob. I'm at the Solar Decathlon right now, and I got one question for you. Do you believe that the Great Pumpkin is related to the sun and that aliens are flying it at this very moment? Recently, I attended the Solar Decathlon held in Irvine, California. This is an international competition held by the U.S. Department of Energy for college students to design and build solar power houses. But I had it on good authority that one of the houses was really a cleverly disguised alien shuttlecraft. It took some doing, but I was able to ferret out which one it was. Well, the fact of the matter is, buried within all these plants are other alien species. That's right. This one here? That's terrestrial. This one here? That's alien. How can you tell? Their plant life cannot live in our environment. Look how poorly these things look. They're peaking. I mean, they're just peaking. Alien cacti. Many parts are edible, but it tickles when you swallow. You see, this young lady here is explaining to me the graphical interface of this house. Now, what you think is it's going to run all the electrical and air conditioning, but truth is, this is actually what powers the spaceship. This whole thing folds up into a spacecraft and shoots it tomorrow. <laughs> now, in this portion of the house are the escape posture. They're designed to look like a washer and dryer. Take a look. See what I mean? There's UFO Bob text. No, it's not. I'm communicating with the mothership. Do not look at that secret coded message. Damn, can I get any privacy? This, by the way, is a transporter. Uh, the master bedroom gets its own That's pie, right. Pie, which is You're able to transport uh, things from one place to another just by sitting there. Uh, it's amazing uh, technology. Larger. We did features like this as well as matching the interior walls, the exterior walls. Hi there, folks. You see this? This is a doggy bag. But what you don't really know is it's actually for picking up alien pink goo. That's right. But I highly recommend that you use two bags because it tends to eat through the first bag and you don't want to have that happen on your hand. <laughs> 